Hi, welcome to Nessa's Nook. Tonight I am going to go ahead and I'm going to um, take some of the potatoes that I had in my pantry and actually get those um, chopped up and put there. Um, I do can mine with the skins on. I know you're not supposed to, but I do because I like them better with the skins on than the skins off and I'm too lazy to peel them. So, anyways, these have already been washed, but they're going to be sitting over here in water for quite a while and then they'll be washed and washed and washed again so you know I'll be straining this several different times to get all of the starch off these but I'm gonna bring you over here I'm gonna be using my 13 cup uh, KitchenAid and those who haven't watched this is the blade size that the potatoes will end up being now I do have a KitchenAid um, on my stand mixer um, that does a dicing also, but that's a lot smaller. Um, that's a lot smaller than I want to do for the canned potatoes that I'm going to try to do today. So this just goes on like so. And it latches in. It doesn't want to do that right now. Some days it just goes right in like nobody's business and other days it's just like oh, I don't think so but there's like these little lips and then there's um there's like the little lip right here and you gotta match that up perfectly while you're trying to put this over the spindle thing too there we go see it goes on so what I'm gonna do is I'll take this out this is gonna get a little bit easy I'm not gonna do the whole thing online I'll just uh, come back and do the steps, but I'll show you here. you can see how quick and easy that is and I just go ahead and take this off take this back out and um, dump this in the sink and this will start to get uh, rinse the starch and stuff off it so I'll bring you back as I uh, get this ready to do more things all right I rinse these quite a few times and I strain them and I wash them and so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be dry canning these and yes my sink was cleaned and sterilized and all that before the tomato or the potatoes went in. I was gonna say tomatoes. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go ahead and fill these up, and um, you're gonna wash the rims and everything like that. Um, my 16 quart or my 23 quart only takes uh, seven quarts at a time, so I should probably be having at least that many. If there is some left over, um, I could probably just fry those up for dinner tonight. But this is really easy to do. And um, it is quite tasty. Like I said, I like it better um, with the skins on it than I do without the skins. And I'll bring you back once all these are done. All right, I just rinse these off. And... Um, <clears throat> You're going to want to go around the rims and make sure everything is fine. You are going to want to do one inch head space. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the quartz go for like 45 minutes, but I'll, I'll make sure and I'll let you guys know for sure. <clears throat> and 
And one thing about canning your potatoes, especially if you have an overabundance of them, when they come out of the jars, you know, they're pretty much almost all the way cooked. So all you got to do is sit there and brown them, which makes it really nice. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know for sure if you can see this. But I'm going to go ahead and stick that in that three-quart Instapot. And I am going to um, cook those for probably about... Um, probably 10 minutes and when I go to do dinner tonight, this is way too many for dinner, but I'll fry them all up together. And um, when I do that, then all I have to do is just brown them. So that'll be really nice. I'll be right back. All right. You got the bands on, or the lids on there. You just screw those in and tip tight. Like I said, I am dry canning these. I have found after years of making them, that I like the taste of it better without being in the water. So that's what I do. And I'll be back. All right, I got the extra potatoes going on in the Instapot and I have the water in here. And um, I, like I said, I believe it's 45 minutes, but I will double check, but I'll go ahead and get this turned on and uh, get this canned in and I'll bring it back when this, once this is all done. Okay, here's the seven quarts of uh, potatoes that I did earlier. So this worked out very well. And as you can see, they look really nice. They don't have all the um, starch that the potatoes put out. But anyways, thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.